With online shopping becoming a fixture in our lives, more of us are being exposed to fake websites impersonating popular retailers. We explain how online shopping scams work and how to spot a dodgy website. What are online shopping scams? Online shopping scams are a type of product and service fraud. They usually involve criminals setting up entire fake websites that imitate those of popular stores. Shoppers who are duped into purchasing items from these websites will often be left waiting for products that are never delivered or end up receiving a poor quality or counterfeit item. How common are they? A 2022 study by academics for the Australian Retailers Association declared this type of scam to be very prevalent, finding that 40% of the 1,000 Australians surveyed had encountered a scam shopping website. According to the ACCC, Australians have already lost almost $4 million to this type of scam so far this year, with Peter Alexander and Kathmandu being among the recent crop of retailers to have their brand impersonated. So, how do you spot a fake website? Number one, it has an unusual URL. The web address or URL is one of the most identifiable aspects of any retailer's site and can hold important clues as to whether the page you're looking at is legitimate. The scam URL might also include words and formatting that seem unnecessary and go against the strategy of a major retailer trying to establish a simple and identifiable website presence. For example, during our research, we found a number of sites impersonating popular brands, including a fake Kathmandu website with the URL kathmandu-au.store. Number two, the prices are too good to be true. Another common factor across the scam sites being covered was unusually large discounts, with some sites offering as much as 80% of retail prices. Number three, it has poor quality content or an unusual layout. Professor Haskell Dowland says the speed with which scammers establish fake stores means supporting content on these sites can often stand out for their poor quality. Number four, it has unusual payment methods. Dr. Cassandra Cross says a website requiring you to pay in a way you wouldn't normally when shopping online should be treated with suspicion. If you're being asked to pay with a non-traditional payment form by a Bitcoin or a money transfer, then that's potentially a red flag, she explains. Other forms of payment, including Visa, and MasterCard credit and debit cards, and PayPal offer greater protections to consumers, but beware that scam websites will, will sometimes also accept these methods. Number 5. The reviews are damning. If you are suspicious about a site, you can enlist the help of fellow consumers who might have had a previous experience with the outlet. If the website you're using is a scam, there's a chance victims might be using these forums to warn others. Number 6. It doesn't have an ABN or the ABN doesn't match the business name. The website of any major retailer operating in Australia should provide the company's Australian business number or Australian company number. You might be able to find this on the shop's terms and conditions or terms of use page or by looking for it using the website's own search function. Beware though that fraudsters can copy these numbers from legitimate businesses. Use the government's business lookup service to make sure the number belongs to the retailer you're looking at or its parent company. Number seven, it was only created recently. As mentioned above, scam sites can come and go in the blink of an eye. Therefore, if you're questioning a website's legitimacy, enter the domain or URL into a lookup service to see when it was registered. If it was only created very recently, you may be looking at a fake. The domains of the scam sites we uncovered had both been registered in the last month. Sites including whois.com and I can look up can tell you when a domain was registered, but we've occasionally found that these services haven't been able to pull information on some pages.